Good morning and welcome to day four of math. I'm pretty excited because you guys are gonna create a game today. If you remember last week, our warm up activity, I came up with a game called Ship Shape using two dimensional shapes. So you will need a piece of computer paper and at the top you're going to title your game Ship Shape. Then you are gonna need a start and a finish for your game. I'm gonna make my start a circle. I'm gonna write the word start inside. Yours doesn't have to be the same shape as mine, so you're just gonna pick a start. And a finish. Square. Finish. After you have your start and finish, you need to add a path drawing two-dimensional shapes. If you want, you can trace shapes if it makes it easier for you. Or if you're really good at drawing the shapes, you can just draw them. I'm going to pick some fun colors. Blue, orange, here we go. And draw some shapes. Well, I just used red. Maybe like, I can make a pattern too, we'll see. Square. Hexagon, hexagons are kind of hard to draw, so I'm gonna just try my best. Oh, it turned out better than I thought. Triangle. Oh, I'm gonna do a pattern with the colors and the shapes. Oh, but you know what? I forgot to add a rectangle. I'm gonna add a rectangle. So it kind of messed up my pattern a little bit. That's okay. Hex hexagon. Square. Oh, I'm going to make this rectangle go this way. Maybe I'll just end with a triangle. Right here. But I'm going to have an arrow that shows what way it goes. Maybe I'm going to just connect them like this. So there is my path. After you come up with a path, you need to create your pieces. Now, I just made my pieces say me and you. These are my game pieces. You can use things that you have around your house, like a paper clip. Maybe if they're two different colors or cereal, whatever you choose. I just drew me and you. I'm going to put them at the start. Now, put my markers away. Click. Another thing you need for your game are cards that you draw and it tells you what to do. Now, I made mine tell a little bit about each shape. So let's see, if I have my cards on my game like that, there we go, what else do I need for my game? I need instructions for my game. So I came up with a list of instructions. You're gonna need to come up with your own instructions for your game too. At the top I wrote instructions. One, pick a card. My card says three sides. I need to move my person to a shape that has three sides. Which shape has three sides? Triangle. I need to go to the first shape that has that many sides. So I'm on the triangle. The first, oh, 
go to the shape described on the card. So I did, I went to the, or the shape that had three sides. The first one to the finish line wins. So after whoever I'm playing the game with and I draw our cards, oh, it says he needs to go to a shape that is round. And we go through all the cards, what everyone makes it to the finish line first wins. You are gonna come up with your own game. You're gonna make a start finish, a path with shapes. You're gonna come up with your game pieces, some cards that you need to choose from with whoever you're playing with, instructions. And then I want you to play the game with your parent, or if you have a brother, sister, babysitter, grandma, grandpa, I want you to play the game with them. And I look forward to seeing how your games turn out. That's all I have for math for this week, and I hope you have fun creating a game.